Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. But you can call me Pajama Grandma, of course. In case we haven't met yet, go and put a hashtag pajama in the comments below. So now it's the first time you're being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. Today is day 258 of What's She Up To Now? Where I just share my journey of transitioning from the brick and mortar and corporate real world of business to the online world of business and how I'm using that to create the life that I want, the life that allows me to do what I want, when I want, with whomever I want, where I want, wearing whatever I want, and in many cases, it's in my pajamas. Today, I want to chat a little bit about pain and results because, you know, you always hear the expression, no pain, no gain, which is, you know, in bodybuilding and things like that. Not sure I actually subscribe to that theory of thinking or that way of thinking because I think that you can get results by working smarter, not necessarily working harder, and by doing things that don't necessarily cause you pain and sacrifice. There's a lot of discussion about, well, if you want to have your own business and if you want to achieve success, you have to sacrifice everything. I don't believe that you have to sacrifice anything. I think that it's a matter of making the choices that are in your best interest and doing what's right for you. And that does not have to involve sacrifice. That can just be I'm making this choice to not go out with my friends on Friday night because I'm building my own business and I know that I can stay home and I can create this thing for my business and to help a lot of other people by not going out on this one night with my friends. So am I sacrificing the night with my friends or am I creating something awesome for my future and for a whole lot more people than just a group of people that I would be going out with and spending one evening with? Well, I don't consider that a sacrifice. I consider that a choice that's in my own best interest. So we have to make those choices all the time. But if we're making a choice, it's not really a sacrifice. So stop telling people that they have to sacrifice in order to be successful. Stop telling people that they have to sacrifice in order to have and achieve and be and do whatever it is that they want. Because they don't. They just have to take and make a choice and then move toward that. But that does not have to be a sacrifice. I like to say... Um, Choices are our personal power and we get to make them all the time. Sacrificing is totally optional. Being afraid and scared and negative and hurt or any negative emotion, those are always optional. We don't have to choose to ever feel those. We don't ever have to choose to feel rejected or put down or you know neglected or whatever it is, whatever negative emotion we might be feeling. That's always our choice to go ahead and experience that. I just don't choose to experience it. Thus, the discussion about pain and results. If we want a certain result, we just have to choose that result and then take the steps toward moving toward that result. We don't have to have pain to get it or consider it sacrifice or pain. So what areas of our life are causing us the most pain? Me, went to my grandma's 99th birthday party yesterday, and I don't know what I did, but I tweaked my back. So physically today, right this very minute, physical pain is the number one thing on my mind. Normally, not so much, but today it happens to be. So we can have physical pain. We can have things that are going on in our physical body or our physical environment that are causing us pain. We can have mental pain. We can have pain and anguish from things we're thinking about or our mindset or things people have said and done to us in the past or present that are bothering us, that are causing us mental pain. We can have emotional pain. We can have our feelings hurt. And the secret is we do everything in our lives, everybody all the time, everything based on emotions and how we want to feel. So all of our choices, all of our decisions, as much as we like to rationalize them, are always initially triggered by emotion and then we justify them with reason or with mental thinking and, and thoughts and, and justification of why we think something is such a smart idea. But we always really make our decisions based on emotion. You might have spiritual pain. Um, you might be doing something or in an activity that just doesn't match with who you really are. I spent a lot of years working in corporate America, and although I did really well in corporate America, it didn't always feel 100% right to me. I mean, some of the things and some of the decisions that corporations do <clears throat> in the for the good of the company aren't necessarily for the good of the individual. And when I had to share those decisions from on high to the people that reported to me, it didn't always feel good. I always had to find a way to make it in their best interest, but a lot of times it was really just in the company's best interest. And so that hurt my spirit or my soul, however you describe it. But you can have spiritual pain. You might have, um, and I guess under spiritual, I would consider religious conflict or or 
challenges in your life. Those I would consider spiritual pain. You might have financial pain. You might not be able to get what it is that you want or make ends meet or pay your bills or have debtors or collectors calling you. You might have some sort of financial pain. Um, you might have pain in your relationships. Maybe you've been through a divorce. Maybe you've had a breakup. Maybe you are struggling with people that you work with or the people that you're in business with or just people around you. Maybe your kids are having relationship challenges. So we can have relationship pain. We can have what I call contribution pain or lack of contribution pain. If we feel like we're made for something more and we're not contributing to the world around us, we can have pain associated with that. So I'm curious today, what area of your life right now is causing you the most pain, the most anguish, the most stress, the most doubt, the most fear, the most worry? Is it physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, or contribution? Oh, relationships or contribution. There's seven. Relationships or contribution. What area of your life? Share in the comments below. Are you just experiencing the most pain today? Today, for me, physical. Otherwise, the rest of the stuff, I got it handled. But today, my back hurts, and so I'm going to drink some lemon water and, and see if I can't detox and figure out what did I do to it yesterday. So share in the comments below what area of your life is giving you the most pain. And then, <coughs> in addition to that, I would really like to know, and you can feel free to direct message me if you don't want to share it on this page, what result do you want in that area? So let's say, for example, your biggest challenge right now or your biggest pain is finances. You just got laid off from your job. You're stressing out because you don't have a whole bunch of savings and you don't know what you're going to do to take care of your family. So financial pain is your biggest pain right now. Well, what, what amount of money or what result do you want? Maybe you want a new job. Maybe you want $20,000 a month. Maybe you want $8,000 a month. Maybe you want $5,000 a month. Whatever it, What's the result that you want? to alleviate that current pain. And not, I wanna make a million dollars a month because that's your future, but what amount, what do you need right now to eliminate that current pain? Maybe you're having a physical pain. Maybe you've got like me, a backache. So what result do you want? Well, I want my back to stop hurting, right? So I want the pain in my back to go away. So that's the result I want. The pain is a physical pain in my back. So a physical pain in my back, so I want the pain to go away is the result I want. Financial pain, I just got laid off, so I want a new job. That's the result you want. Or I want $7,000 a month or whatever the number is for you. Go ahead, share that in the comments below. Today I'm working on <clears throat> getting rid of my back pain, doing my daily content. My son-in-law is having surgery, so it's going to be a busy, busy day. Go out, make it a fantastic day. Don't dwell on your pain. Just think of what the biggest pain is because... I'm going to move forward and show you exactly what you need to do to alleviate and get rid of that pain and get the result that you want. That's why I'm asking. All right. Have a fantastic day. Jam Grandma out.